What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Grab a seat and strap in, cause we're about to have some fun. So I recently stumbled across some Google reviews for what is probably one of the worst rated hawker center stores in Singapore. And I thought we'd check out some of these reviews today. But before that, don't forget to subscribe, it's real simple. All you gotta do is press the big red button and best of all, it's free. I mean, you don't have to, you seriously don't, but would be a lot cooler if you did. So of course, I'm not gonna name and shame this hawker stall, but after looking at some of their reviews, I think there's definitely something going on and we're gonna find out together. All you gotta know is that this particular stall has a rating of 2.3 stars on Google and a majority of them are all really negative. But that's not to say there weren't any good reviews because there were a couple of nice ones that were left there as well, talking about how the food was affordable and delicious. But I think we've got to take a look at all the other reviews to get a full picture. So without further ado, let's dive right in. This guy over here says, The food is terrible and super salty. Worst kind of food to eat by human being. Wow. Okay. This makes it seem like the guy cooking the food just committed a war crime. Please do not eat here if you want to save your taste. I'm gonna have nightmare after eating the food here. That's a bold statement. Saying that hawker food would give you nightmares? That's concerning. Interestingly enough, the owner of the store himself replied to this review. Here's what he said. Sleeping pills help with sleeping well at your age. Only take the recommended dosage haul. So this is one of the things that kind of rang alarm bells in my head when I was looking at the reviews because it's not very often you will find the owner of a stall trying to clap back at the reviewers. And also because you can't remove these reviews, I think that's why it kind of triggered the owner of the stall here. But it doesn't paint them in a good light when you try to tell them off like that, telling them to take sleeping pills. Like what is that going to achieve? This review gave them 3 stars and says, Please treat everyone with respect. Delivery riders still human you know. Students are still students, don't need impatient with them. You will be surprised the good attitude will run a long way. I'm actually surprised that this person gave them 3 stars considering that the review kind of implies the owner is being rude to plenty of people here. But the owner didn't reply to this one so... I don't know, maybe there's some truth to the statement here? Who knows? A one-star review that says Terrible attitude and poor service will advise anyone not to purchase anything from this store. Furthermore, the chef owner does not wear a mask when handling food and cooking. Ooh, that's not good. Not wearing a mask when handling food in the middle of a panoramic? Ain't nobody got time for that! It's not looking good for the store. And of course, the owner of the store here replied to this review. They said, I'm not surprised too. Maybe I should have closed down 5 years ago. Oh, how I wonder I've managed to keep my business open so long. Strucks. Yeah, I don't think you want to be playing the sarcasm level so high when you're being accused of not handling your food properly and being rude as well. Not a good look. This one star review says, do treat delivery riders as human too. It's just a one line statement and it seems like there's a pattern over here about the treatment of delivery riders. But this time, the owner seems to have been triggered enough to leave a huge paragraph in a reply. Hi Blank the Grab Rider, thank you for wearing earphones and jamming on the job. Okay, the owner here listed the full name of the rider which I don't know how they managed to get the information but it seems insane. Like, this is some level of doxing here for sure. Thank you for not responding to your order number, then acting like a gangster and point finger at people's face and ask people to watch out, say people got attitude problem just because your inferiority complex felt that you were right for just wearing earphones and sitting there when you should have been following your grab protocol. Oh my goodness, this was a huge run on sentence. I cannot, I'm gonna stop here for a moment because I need to process what he was saying. There was no punctuation and I didn't get what was going on. But the review also has an update that says, Not that particular rider that you're talking about, but I guess you have also badly treated other riders too. Looking at all the bad reviews given to you, you should know and everyone should know who has the personal issue here. I mean, where's the lie? I think the owner over here at this point is just not even going to consider the fact that they might be in the wrong because it feels like common sense to want to make sure that you leave a good impression on your customers whether it's a good or bad review maybe even promise to say you would change or you know fix whatever mistakes they did but this owner over here none of that at all they don't even want to acknowledge that they might be in the wrong so you know what give them kfc because they're doubling down one star review translated by google you rub up original you rub up thanks google for translating that it really helped extremely bad and disgusting service poor attitude and not even as a staff but as person do not recommend this stall at all and would never go back there. The pasta is hard and too peppery, generally grossed out by their service. 13 likes on this review. Something's not going well there. Here's what the owner had to say. Order a 380 pasta dish, cheapest agi olio you will ever find people. Yes, an agi olio that's 380, never heard of that before. 
From a hawker stall and you were expecting it to be served to you tableside on a golden plate with hot towels? Wow, they really decided to go in thick with the sarcasm here and you know what, it's not good at all. What are they trying to do at this point? Are they trying to just light their entire reputation on fire here? It really does seem like that. You got your food within a minute I assume and yet you complained that was bad service. Also, in full caps, AGI OLEO is meant to be SPICY! Did you hear that guys? AGI OLEO is meant to be spicy. Quote of the day. Maybe even the year. And it's seasoned with pepper, I'm sorry if you were expecting something else, I can't read minds. So the owner said that they can't read minds and so the original reviewer left an edit to their reply saying wrong I'm gonna blank that out because they actually named the owner of the store which is insane, I'm screaming. I did not even get the 380 pasta or aglio olio as it is rightfully spelled. And no matter the value or taste of the food, it's the way you treat and talk to customers that make everything of their experience. Yes, go off. Doesn't mean you serve cheap food then be rude to people, look at all the reviews you receive and do you think their service attitude was any good to them? Good on this reviewer for standing up for themselves. Really bad food, don't bother wasting your time, no hygiene plus serving spoiled food. At this point, it's the same complaints and if you have multiple people saying the same thing and you are still in denial about it, then maybe it's more of a you problem than a them problem. Unhygienic food was non-consumable, wow. It literally tasted like salt on the spoon and the guy with specs in the stall don't wear masks and tasted the food with my spoon and gave it back to me! No! That's not right! Officers, this is it. This is it right here. Expecting me to do what? Eat with the spoon he ate? Hello, COVID alert? Highly do not recommend. I couldn't agree more. If this was really the case and this was what really happened on the ground, I would stay far away. Very disappointed with the food and the service is bad. The attitude of service staff wearing black glasses is the worst. Hmm. I see that the guy with the glasses might be the same one giving all these problems. Just a theory here? But I don't know. And the owner replied, Seriously people, what is wrong with you? Write what is wrong at least. What food and what service? Did you even bought a dish? Since there is no explanation whatsoever on this unhappiness, I'm beginning. Beginning. To think this is all the same person since the reviews is exactly all written on the same day. So the owner's first instinct upon seeing multiple reviews on the same day written by different people as far as we know about the same issue is to say that they're written by the same guy? Come on. This person is in denial. Horrible, the carbonara is super salty and the cook used the spoon that I used to eat with to taste the food. No, make it stop. Stop doing that, this is not right. I mean, what is going on with this stall? And what's worse, after that he just threw an egg in and gave me back the food along with the spoon he ate from. You know, I'm pretty sure there are many chefs and cooks out there who want their customers to enjoy the same taste that they do, but never in my life would I have thought that giving your customers the spoon you use would be an acceptable practice. And yes, you can always count on the owner to leave a sarcastic reply because over here they say, I have a special review just dedicated to this. Oh wow, we're gonna be in for a ride. Strap in guys. So read that too and just for this, I must say this thou. Thou? The service and the grammar is really all over the place. Ask me taste the food then say I used the spoon to give her, you must have forgotten to type I gave it to your boyfriend mom to put outside for the cleaner and also after explaining to your boyfriend I assume who gave the other fantastic review, I gave a free sous vide egg so you could mix it into your pasta which you claim is so salty. Again, the owner here is giving highly specific information that nobody asked for instead of trying to acknowledge that they were wrong in some ways, they are just going on the defensive 110%. And for what? Attitude problem store owner, very messy, anyone can just come and take the food, cannot handle multiple orders and food is below average, not recommended, 11 likes. That's kind of worrying because if anyone can just take their food like that, it's gonna be a hassle for delivery riders who just can't find their orders all of a sudden, right? So this seems like a management issue altogether. This has truly been quite a journey because we have seen how the owner has just maintained their stance throughout and refused to change at all. And the funny thing is that there are so many people giving the same consistent feedback. Assuming that they are of course all real people and not the same account like the owner claimed, there's something to be said about this owner just being a terrible person but I'm gonna withhold judgement because we don't know the full picture. Everything online here is also alleged and maybe not even really the real situation on the ground. But that being said, I just want to leave you guys with this final piece of information that I found. On top of replying to almost every other review on this page, the owner themselves left their own review. <laughs> Let me just give you a second there to process what I just said. The owner left their own review. Take a look. This entire chunk of text over here 
was written by the owner themselves. How I know this? Because the name of the user is the exact same name that some other reviewer called the owner as well. So I'm just trying to piece the information there. And this review left by the owner is a 5 star rating. You cannot make this shit up, I swear. I honestly don't have the mental bandwidth, the brain cells, the energy, or the mental capacity to read any of that. But for you guys, I'm gonna push through. Hi Mr. Kelvin and Miss Melissa. Okay, at this point, I'm not even gonna question how the owner knows their name, which is really frightening, but let's just go on. Mr. Kelvin, when you came with your mom to say, and I quote directly from you, I can only taste salt, I tasted your food and told you that it's impossible, and the food was fine. Your mom offered to top up pasta, and I said there was no need, and that it was due to you not mixing in the sous vide egg, which I then offered to give you another one for free, so that you could do so. Glad to see that you took my kind offer of a free sous vide egg to mix in your pasta, but it's now writing I tossed in an egg like I just don't care. And I'm also sorry, I couldn't put the spoon through my mask, and therefore like all normal people, had to pull it down when tasting your food, and when I gave the spoon back to you to put outside on the table for the cleaner, so that it won't go back on your food, you must have thought I was asking you to reuse it. I'm giving myself 5 stars. Due to having to deal with this and giving an explanation and a free sous vide egg, sous egg, come on. To people like you and Melissa who still in the end have to make lies just to feel like you have been victimized. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. I'm broken. This owner really is too much. But guys, I'm pretty sure you're just as exhausted as I am from reading all of the reviews. So I'm just gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what I should react to next. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. YOLO Say no no YOLO YOLO You only live once